This podcast does not constitute an endorsement by the United States Army or Department of Defense. Welcome back to the Soldier for Life podcast. I am Major Kate Little, the Soldier for Life Health and Wellness Director, and I'm pleased to host a three-part podcast series with Kumana to educate veterans and retirees about health care options. Our guest today is here to talk with me about TRICARE benefits for retiring or recently retired service members. Her name is Lachelle Lewis Fowler, and she's a TRICARE community liaison for Humana Military, the company that administers the health care benefit to the TRICARE East region. Lachelle is also a TRICARE beneficiary herself, as her husband currently serves in the military. Welcome, Lachelle. Could you please share a little bit about yourself, both from a career perspective and a military spouse perspective? Yes. Good morning, Major Little. Thank you all for inviting me this morning to this podcast. As far as for myself, for a career perspective, when I was invited to do this, I was actually the TRICARE Community Liaison for Humana uh, Humana Military, but now I am the Health Systems Consultant for Humana Military for Quantico, the schools, TBS and OCS schools, and the Washington Navy Yard. So I've got a brand new position since then, effective of September the 26th. Um, Just dealing with a little bit more complexity at the MTFs. I work directly with the leaderships at the MTFs and our clinics, case management, utilization management, um, as well as the same thing that I did as a community liaison, provide education for beneficiaries, retirees, family members with special needs and things of that nature. So from a career perspective, that's kind of where I am. As a military spouse perspective, yes, um, I am married to an active duty service member. My husband is um, in the army. He's been in the army for 20 years now. And as far as my health care from a military spouse perspective, it has been great. And no, no one paid me to say that. I have a lot of pre-existing, I guess, medical conditions. And I guess for the last 15 years, I say that we've been married. Humana or TRICARE has been great. Whoever the contractor is, just TRICARE as a whole has been great as, you know, military spouses. We PCS with our, with our you know, husbands and or wives all the time. So each location that we PCS to in dealing with my health care, as well as our children's health care, it has been great. And I say added perk would be that I do work for the actual insurance provider. So, you know, I am very knowledgeable in that area. And I think um, having and knowing the right questions to ask, you know, has benefited me along the way. Well, thanks so much, Lachelle, um, just for sharing a little bit about your career. Also, just the great health care that you've received as a military spouse and with your family. And also congratulations on your new job in Humana. That's just very exciting. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, Many of our listeners are preparing to retire or have retired recently. How soon can service members sign up for TRICARE as a retiree? So as a retiree, um, you can sign up up to 30 days prior to your retirement date. Um, You know, if you have all documentations in a row, whatever you need to submit to DEERS and things of that nature, you have 30, you can um, enroll in your program option for yourself and your dependents up to 30 days before your retirement. The general rule of thumb after that is that you have 90 days, 90 days after your retirement to make your program elections. Now we, we know things happen in life, you know, you're busy, you may be traveling and you just, you may have forgotten. In the event that you do not enroll within the 90 days, you can always request what we call a retroactive enrollment where you can um, you can get enrolled in your program option, but there may be some costs and fees associated with that. And that simply means that you will probably be required to pay any annual um, enrollment fees and they will be associated with your actual retirement date. So if you wait two months for uh, requesting the retroactive enrollment, you will have to pay back those actual two months of your annual enrollment fee. So we're not going to leave you out there. You know, there's always room um, to communicate with us your needs so that you don't get left behind. Now, in the event that you do not make any program elections 30 days prior, 90 days after, or request a retroactive enrollment, the system will reflect direct care only. And what that means is you will only be allowed to receive care at a military um, treatment facility and or clinic. Now, I do want to emphasize that as a retiree, the hierarchy of care does change. So 
for military treatment facilities and or clinic, we all know that active duty service members are the priority. So they will be seen first and followed by their family members. Retirees are seen at MTFs and or clinics on a space available basis. And that determination will be decided um, by each MTF. So there's no general or set rule across the board for each MTF. It is the decision of each individual MTF on their um, enrollment for retirees. Great, no, thanks for explaining that. Um, also in doing some research for this episode, I learned that there are several TRICARE program options to choose from. What are the big differences between these options? Are the cost differences between them the same or what are those differences? So as an active duty service member, many, many service members are only privy to TRICARE Prime. And as an active duty service member, TRICARE Prime has always been the lowest cost of our program options. But as a retiree, you have the option now to select um, a different program option. So our program options, of course, are TRICARE Prime and it's more uh, so like the HMO in the civilian world, you kind of have like a PCM that manages your care. That PCM is going to put in the referrals for you if you need specialty care. They submit claims on your behalf. They're kind of insurance that the providers are network providers. And most likely you will receive care, you know, if the space is available at MTFs, clinics, or civilian providers. Now, um, also for TRICARE Prime, uh, service members may have not been privy to, which is an extension of the TRICARE Prime, is the U.S. Family Health Care Plan. And it is available in networks for community-based hospitals, and they are nonprofit. We do have six areas in the United States that offer the U.S. Family Health Plan. In our particular area, um, it is John Hopkins. So John Hopkins under the TRICARE U.S. Family Health Plan is available, of course, in Maryland because that's where it's headquarters in Baltimore, Washington, D.C., parts of uh, Pennsylvania, Virginia, Delaware, and West Virginia, I think that's it. So um, it just depends on where you live. Like I said, it's only available in six areas across the US. So, you know, if a service member is, is interested in that, I do provide the information. And again, it just depends on where you are. But if you enroll in the US Family Health Plan, you kind of forfeit the ability to be seen at an MTF and or clinic or use the pharmacy. You have to remain under that particular umbrella for um, that program option. So for example, if you're gonna go with John Hopkins, all your care is gonna be uh, received under the John Hopkins network and those providers under TRICARE Prime. Now TRICARE Select, active duty service members have not been privy to this, maybe your dependents have, but as a retiree, this is now an option for you. So uh, TRICARE Select, a lot of people love it because you don't have to wait for referrals. That's always the big thing, right? I need a referral, I need a referral, where is it? So under TRICARE Select, it's more of a, what we call PPO in the civilian world, okay? So you don't have to, um, you don't have to wait for a PCM to enter your referral. Actually under TRICARE Select, you're not assigned to a PCM. You have the ability to go out there and select your providers. You have the um, ability to go see these specialists without a referral under TRICARE Select. But under TRICARE Select, again, you are assuming more responsibility. You're, you know, assuming the responsibility of filing your own claims if that is requested of you for the provider. You are assuming more the responsibility of making sure that they are in network with, with you know, with TRICARE, because if not, you may be uh, paying a little bit more out of pocket for those um, expenses. Now, as a retiree, and it just depends on when you retire, um, the cost and fees are going to change. The um, cost and fees have been updated as of October of this year. So there is a, a little cost difference between these cost and fees. And again, they, they change yearly. So I wanna just re, you know, iterate and emphasize that for the 2022 year, the cost and fees for uh, TRICARE Prime, and they're gonna be based upon if you're a single person or if you have a family. Now, family is going to be considered yourself as the service member plus one. That that is, you know, indicative of a family. So for Tricare Prime, like I said, that means you still have your PCM that kind of manages your care, puts in your referral for you. You have an annual enrollment fee. Okay, for individual service member, it's about three hundred and twenty-three dollars. For family, is six hundred and forty-seven dollars. 
for the 2022 year. So whenever you make your program elections, again, are you gonna pick TRICARE Prime or are you gonna pick TRICARE Select? You give us a call at the 1-800 number, 1-800-HUMANA number, and you are going to say, hey, I wanna be TRICARE Prime. Our representatives in turn go over your cost and fees, your annual enrollment. Hey, you're a family, so your cost and fees for TRICARE Prime are $647. Now, if you wanna pick Select, Again, that means you have a little bit more freedom to pick your providers. You're not waiting for referrals and things of that nature. And you are a family. Your annual enrollment fee is $317 for a family and $158 for an individual. Again, this is for 2022 year. TRICARE Select does have a deductible associated with it, $150 for an individual and $300 for a family. There are no, no cost, no out-of-pocket costs for preventative services in either program option. So please be clear on preventative services. Those are things that you go to the doctor for on a yearly basis, physicals, mammograms, colonoscopies, pap smears, things of that nature. Um, things that your doctor say, hey, I wanna see you in three months, every three months for this, whatever the, the care will be. If it's the continuation of that, it's a routine um, th every three months, every six months, that is preventative services. So it doesn't matter which program option you select, you will never have to pay out of pocket for preventative services. As a retiree, now if you go to the doctor for primary care, specialty care and things of that nature, there are out of pocket expenses for that. And it just depends again on when you, on when you retire because the cost and fees will vary per year. So I just wanted to be clear about that. The, the cost and fees are not set in stone every year. They may, you know, increase, they may go down by 20 cent or something like that, but they're, they're going to vary. We do have premium-based programs, and I think we'll get to that later. That's when you have like a young adult children living in your house, premium-based programs for them. And um, that's going to be monthly premium-based program options. And again, those costs and fees will vary based upon what year it is. Well, great. Thanks so much, Lachelle. Really appreciate you explaining the many uh, TRICARE program options, some of the cost differences, and also how they correlate to HMO and PPOs out in the civilian network. If a retiree selects a program option and it's not the right fit for them, can they change it? Sure. So, when a retiree, when I perform these um, briefings at many MTFs, and if people are under the assumption that everyone in their house has to be under the same program option when they make their elections. And they sometimes ask, you know, Ms. Lewis Fowler, which option should I, should I select? We don't sway one way or the other. What I do always advise is talk to your family, you know, pick which program option is based or best fit for their healthcare needs. You know if your spouse has pre-existing medical conditions, you know if your kids are otherwise healthy or yourself is otherwise healthy, compare that to the program options. Again, TRICARE Prime, you have a PCM that manages your care, so you may be able to wait a day or two for a referral. If you have someone in your family that's otherwise uh, you know, sick, has a lot of things going on, and they simply cannot wait for referrals the, the, the 24 to 72 hours, then TRICARE Select may be the best option for them. So you know, please speak with your family before making your elections. Now, in the event that you know, your spouse picks TRICARE Select and she loves it, she says, you know, I can just go whenever I want to go, and you get jealous and say, hey, well, I want to go when I want to, you know, when I get ready to go too, I don't want to be TRICARE Prime anymore. So two ways that you can change your program option if it's not a great fit for yourself and or your family. One is open enrollment season. Open enrollment season occurs every year, the second full week. It starts on a Tuesday, the second full week of November through the second full week of December every year. That's whenever you can change your program option. The other way you can change your program option is you have a QLE. That acronym stands for Qualifying Life Event. Qualifying Life Events are things such as you get married, you get a divorce, you have a child, adopt a child, you move across the street, you separate from the military, you retire from the military, someone graduates from college. Any of those qualifying life event um, triggers for you to um, update your program option if you, you're not happy with it. One qualifying life event 
um, in a household allows for everyone to change it. So if um, you or your, your, your child, I'm sorry, for example, your child graduates from college, everyone in the household can change their program option. If your spouse has a baby, that is a qualifying life event and that applies for everyone in the house. So they can change their program options um, during that qualifying life event. Now the qualifying life event, you need to make that, that different selection within 90 days. So if you move across the street or you move to a different state, that's a qualifying life event. You need to make your, your new program election within 90 days of that program or that qualifying life event happening. So yes. Short answer, yes, you can. <laughs> no, thanks. That was awesome information. No, thanks so much. And you, you touched on this a little bit. And if you could just kind of reemphasize the annual enrollment period for TRICARE, like there is with other health care plans, as well as if retirees need to re-enroll themselves on their family members or dependents every year. That would be great to share with our... Sure. Listeners. So again, the, the um, annual enrollment is, we do have one. It's every year, the second full week of, um, and it begins on a Tuesday of November through the second full week of December of um, every year. You don't need to change anything if you're satisfied. So you won't need to re-enroll yourself. You don't need to call and say, hey, we, we've been in TRICARE Prime all year. We want to stay in TRICARE Prime. The only time you would need to call us is that if you're making a program change. So the annual enrollment is only for, you know, People that are coming in new, they have something going on in their life as a qualifying life event. But if you're otherwise satisfied with your program option, there's no need to call and there's no need to re-enroll. There's not an annual re-enrollment uh, requirement. Great, no, thank you so much. And, and I know you also touched on this aspect as well for retirees living near a military treatment facility. Can you explain again to our listeners how they can continue to receive care there after retirement? Yes, ma'am. So again, the, the hierarchy of care, we all know that active duty is always priority at MTS and or clinic. So if you as a retiree, you say, hey, I love my doctors there. I don't really want to go out into, to the civilian world. Can I stay at an MTF? Is this possible? Again, this will be um, based upon each individual MTF. You know, some Larger MTFs, they may have the, ca the capacity to uh, accommodate a lot of retirees. Smaller MTFs may not. Some MTFs may say we're closed for retirees for you know the next 90 days, 30 days, whatever their rules are at the time. So if you're thinking that you know this is where you want to be after retiring, I will start having those conversations with your provider um, just to inquire if they know their MTF rules. Humana doesn't, you know, we don't dictate or get specific rules for each MTF. Those rules are set by each MTF, the, if they are or are not accepting retirees. No, th thanks so much for sharing with that, just the hierarchy of care, and it could be different and specific for each MTF. So I think that's very valuable information for our listeners today. How long are dependent children covered under TRICARE? So if you have a dependent, a dependent child, especially those, those children that are full-time students, so your, your dependent children can remain under you until their 23rd birthday, if they're full-time students, or they graduate from college, you know, whichever comes, comes first. And you have to be providing 50% uh, of their financial aid while they're in college. And they do need to present something to the reg um, from their registrar's office to DEERS indicating that they are in a full-time course of study to remain under you until their 23rd birthday or they graduate from college, whichever one comes first. Now, um, if you do not have that, that student or that dependent in your home that is in college, we do have what we call TRICARE Young Adult. And TRICARE Young Adult is our premium-based program that I mentioned earlier. And this is for um, those individuals, you know, living in your house, or they may have not decided what they want to do yet. They're just still kind of exploring. Um, they have to be at least age 21 and not have reached age of 26. So this is TRICARE Young Adult program. Um, they also have to be um, unmarried. And they, you know, they cannot be offered any other insurance by um, their provider. 
So they can't work for like Google, Google, I'm sorry, Google or NASA, something like that and say, hey, no, I don't want your insurance because my mom or dad is a retiree and we have TRICARE. So um, those are the stipulations for TRICARE Young Adult. Also, TRICARE Young Adult does not offer um, dental. So if they are in need of dental coverage and they're age 21 and not have reached the age of 26, they would need to find their own um, dental coverage. But other than that, your dependents are yours until the actual age of 21. After the age of 21, if they are enrolled in a full-time course of study, they can remain under you until the age of 23 or they graduate from college. If they are not in college, TRICARE Young Adult is their only other option, age 21 and have not yet reached the age of 26. There are fees associated with that. Like I said, it's a premium-based program option um, and it does provide them coverage if they need it. And those fees, again, they may change on a yearly basis as well. So I would encourage you, if you, you think this is an option for one of your children to just give us a call and inquire about the cost and fees um, so that they can get enrolled. Great, thanks so much, Lachelle, for explaining the length of time that dependent children can be covered under TRICARE, as well as explaining in detail about the TRICARE Young Adult Program. And you had mentioned dental care, so it's kind of a perfect segue to my next question. Does TRICARE cover dental and vision care? So um, as a retiree, TRICARE does not cover contacts and or glasses. So as a retiree, if, if TRICARE Prime is you know, your option, you are allotted the one vision exam per year. In the event that you need your uh, contacts and glasses, and of course your dental, your new coverage will, will come from Benefits, and that is um, FedBib, and that stands for Federal Employee Dental and Vision Program. They have their own website, and it has a list of dental providers and it has a list of vision providers. The great thing that I wanna mention about that is that we've all used United Concordia. If you have dependents for your dental, um, as an active duty service member, your, your spouse and your children probably have used United Concordia. United Concordia is on that list for retirees. So, you know, if United Concordia has been good to your family, you know, the duration of your career, the only thing you would have to do is give them a call and say, hey, I am in a retiree status, no longer active duty. Um, what's the process for enrollment? What, what, you know, what do I do? What are the fees associated with that? The Federal Employee Dental and Vision Program, their open enrollment matches with Humana's. There's always the first couple of weeks of November through the first couple of weeks of December. So I think they do that so you won't forget. <laughs> you know, I got my health care down packed, so what am I going to do with my vision and dental? So they have uh, a lot of program options. You just go to their website, and their website is BennyFeds, like F-E-D-S dot com. And you just go there and they do have a cool comparison tool where you can compare the different program options based upon your family's dental and vision needs. And it'll give you their phone numbers for all of these various companies that are there. So you can give them a call and um, get your family enrolled. Thank you. Really appreciate it, Lachelle. In our first episode of the season, we had talked about the ins and outs of Medicare. What happens to retirees to try care coverage when they turn 65? Well, of course, um, I want to start out with Humana is the eastern contractor uh, for, for TRICARE for the East Coast. So when you turn the age of 65, the contractor for TRICARE for TRICARE for Life is going to be the Wisconsin Physician Services. So whenever you get to the age of 65, you'll be under a new contractor. It'll no longer be Humana for the East or HealthNet Federal Services for the West. You have a new contractor now. So whenever you or your spouse turn the age of 65, you um, may be entitled to your uh, TRICARE for Life with your Medicare Part A and B and your, your TRICARE. So this is considered our wraparound coverage for TRICARE beneficiaries who have the Medicare Part A and B. And we know that uh, Medicare Part A is for inpatient things like, you know, staying in the hospital overnight, et cetera. Medicare Part B is for any outpatient services. So as long as you have your Medicare Part A and B, you are entitled to your TRICARE for Life. And 
honestly, this is going to be an option regardless of age, because people always think, you know, age 65 Medicare. But what if you have that that spouse or that dependent that is um, sick? You know, they may qualify under disability for their Medicare Part A and B, and they will be um, eligible for TRICARE for Life as well. But as far as the, um, the individuals that are 65, again, your new contractor will be the Wisconsin Physician Services Administrators for TRICARE for Life. There's no annual enrollment for TRICARE for Life. You just need to have your uh, Medicare Part A and B, and then you just go to, you know, go to your doctors. You won't owe anything else to TRICARE. So you'll have an annual enrollment with TRICARE until you turn the age of 65. And then after that, you won't have anything left, you know, to owe to TRICARE as far as annual enrollment. You'll go to your providers. You can go to um, participating and non-participating providers. Under uh, TRICARE for Life, you can visit participating and non-participating providers to receive your care. Um, again, when you turn 65, the same rules apply for visiting MTF. You will be able to um, get your care to MTF, again, on a space available basis. So you just will need to contact these MTFs to see if you can be seen whenever you turn the age of 65. Of course, you'll get a new ID card and things of that nature to identify you as a TRICARE for Life um, member, and you'll just present that as you've always done when receiving your health care. Thanks, Lachelle. No, I appreciate you explaining retiree TRICARE coverage when they, once they turn 65 and also how it ties to Medicare. And finally, what resources are available to help retirees or soon-to-be retirees learn more about TRICARE benefits and their questions to get them answered? <laughs> That is a great question. So whenever I come and do briefings in, in person or virtually, I always kind of, my coworkers say I provide information overload. And I think that's great because you need to know where you can find things. One of my favorite uh, resources is the Humana Military TRICARE Beneficiary Self-Service Guide. You can go on the website and, you know, um, download the, well, click on the link, I'm sorry, click on the link. Um, to create an account, if you already have an account, you know, log in on some of our pages, there's a QR code that you can just basically scan. And when you um, initiate your beneficiary service guide, uh, you can set communications to meet your needs, such as, you know, I want to be communicated with via email only, or I want to be communicated with calling my cell phone only, not my, my home phone. Um, you can update your email address and phone number. You can't unfortunately update your address on this, but just your email and phone number. You can send and receive secure messaging um, from your providers. And most importantly, and, and this is very important, a lot of people like this um, on the self-service guide, is you can check your referral status. You don't have to keep calling the NTF or you don't have to keep calling your civilian provider to see if your, you know, your referral is in there. You can use this tool, this resource tool to go online or, you know, on your phone and say, hey, I wonder if my, my referral is there. It's been 24 hours. So let me go in there to see. You can check your referral. You can always verify your eligibility there. So for retirees, if you know you're going to transition out and you say, well, I've called Humana, and but I don't know if the eligibility or my new program option has been updated and I don't have time to call them. You can always, again, go online, pull out your phone and it'll show you, hey, you are eligible for TRICARE Prime, TRICARE Select as a retiree. Um, you can do the same thing for your dependent children under the age of 18. Now, after the age of 18, they will need to submit something to us that says, hey, I will allow these persons or person to view my eligibility and or medical records because at 18, they are considered an adult. So um, for your dependent children who are under the age of 18, you can see things of that nature. View your claims. So if you're unsure if a claim got processed, denied, or if it's in the processing status, you can always go there to see it. Um, especially if something has been denied, um, it's good to know. So you can give us a call and say, hey, what happened here? Is there anything for you um, to do? If there is a provider that needs to be called, it's just good to know that everything that's been submitted on your behalf has been processed correctly. And then you can always make payments. So if there's anything that you owe, you can always go um, online in the self-service guide to make those payments. 
tricare.mil is always, always a great resource. If you're concerned about if tricare is going to cover something, please go to tricare.mil. And then there's a tab at the top and it's called what's covered. If you click on that tab and you select medical, dental, whatever your heart desires, you can scroll to the bottom and you can actually enter that inquiry. So if you are concerned if they're going to cover braces, go to the bottom, type in braces, and it'll let you know if it's going to cover it. If you're concerned if it's going to cover something like a breast pump, you can type that in and it'll let you know yes or no. Surgery, it'll let you know yes or no, we're going to cover that, um, that procedure. Also under tricare.mil, uh, anything that we send you in the mail, um, is public knowledge. If you're at an event and they're handing out brochures or handouts, all of that is public knowledge and you can find that on the tricare.mil website. Also, if you are in search of a doctor and you just said, I just don't know if there's a doctor around that's going to accept tricare, tricare.mil, find a doctor that is also a tab at the top. You can select that tab, put in your information. It'll ask you know, general stuff like your address or your zip code, what type of provider you're looking for, and it will generate a list. If you put in your actual address, it will tell you the distance from your home to that actual provider's office. So you, you know, you know before you go, you know how far you're, you're going to be driving to these actual offices. So that's for tricare.mil. Also, we know that it's sometimes hard to get appointments in these physical offices. So we do have a lot of online resources that you can utilize, um, such as the, the Telemind. This is a new um, option for individuals that need telemental health services. And the good thing about this is that retirees do not need a referral or authorization for the Telemind or telemental health services. The telemental health services will be dispersed um, through Telemind. And these are all TRICARE authorized providers. So you just go online in a virtual setting and you can see these doctors and they can put in prescriptions for you as needed. If you cannot find um, providers that you can go to in person or you're more comfortable with seeing someone from the comfort of your own home. And this is available not just with Humana Military, their Eastern contractor, it's also available um, for HealthNet Federal Services, which is the West contractor also. So you can get it nationwide. Also, we have the, the Simply Fed, and that's also another virtual option for, for moms. You know, that's a virtual breastfeeding and um, baby feeding services resource that, you know, women can use, again, if they want to just be in the comfort of their own home to speak to someone, that's also a virtual, another virtual option. So oh, great. No, thank you for sharing all those valuable resources with our listeners today. That's phenomenal. And I just want to say thanks again, Lachelle, for joining me today to educate retiring or recently retired service members about TRICARE benefits and to share your Army story with us as a military spouse. The information that you provided is extremely useful and valuable to reconnecting retiring or recently retired service members to their health benefits. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for um, inviting me here today, ma'am. And I do want to say last thing, one last thing before we 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 do sign off. Um, again, just to, just to attest to Tricare and Humana, we are here for service members and their families. Again, no one's paying me to say this because I work for them. Again, I'm also a dependent as well. So please don't hesitate to to give us a call if you're in need. There's no reason why anyone in you know, the military umbrella, regardless of branch of service, to be out there and need health care and or resources and you can't find them on your own. In the event that you can't, please give us a call. We will help you navigate. We will help you um, do things step by step, one on one. I provide one on one um, classes and, and, and sessions every Friday to whoever needs them, regardless of branch of service. If they find my information, how I don't know, they somehow find it and they send me emails, I don't mind. Because especially as a retiree, this is your health care for the duration of, of your life. So just how you, you check your financials consistently, check your health care, make sure things are in order, make sure your, your eligibility is up to date, make sure your address, phone number and things are, are always up to date. And it just ensures that you get effective and timely health care when you need it. 
We don't want, you know, when you need health care, it's regardless of, regardless of if it's today, tomorrow, next week. When you do need health care, we do not want there to be any delay in care um, if something's not up to date. So please, please make sure all your information is up to date all the time. Please reach out to us um, if you need that. There's someone that's always going to be there. Humana has a department for everything. Referrals, claims, uh, customer service, someone that helps you find a doctor, someone that looks into um, complaints if you, you, you're, if you have one. So we, we are here for you. At the end of the day, we are here for you. Thanks, Michelle. And thanks again to the Humana team as well. Just I've really enjoyed doing this three-part podcast series so we can educate our veterans and retirees about their health care options. And I look forward to working with the Humana team again. Thank you so much.